Hi, today my group mates and me would like to talk about YTL Corporation and its major activities. YTL Corporation was founded in 1995 by Tan Sri Dato Sri Yo Tion Lai and it was considered as the first independent power producer in Malaysia. Currently, YTL Corporation is one of the largest non-governmental government-linked Malaysian companies and one of the Bursa Malaysia largest companies. Since 1996, it was listed in the Tokyo Stock Exchange and annual growth rate in products profits is 55% over the last 15 years. This company applies a strategy of world-class products and services at the very competitive prices. So let's move on to the main activities of the company. One of it is the property development. And currently, Land Bank has more than 2,000 acres of strategic development land in Malaysia. One of YTL Corporation activities is hotels and resorts, such as luxury hotels, luxury spine villages, classic hotels, Vistan hotels, and luxury escapes. Next activity is operation and maintenance activities, such as coal-fired power generation, high-speed rail and electricity transmission and distribution. Example of high-speed rail is express rail link from KLIA to KL Central. Our next activity is YTL Member Hut, which is considered one of the largest manufacturers of cement and ready mixed concrete products in Malaysia. They also have a company in China and Singapore. Next is construction contracting and they have built a strong reputation for high-quality construction of buildings such as schools, hospitals and offices and considered as a Class E Malaysian turnkey contractor. Another activity of YTL Corporation is a real estate investment trust such as Star Hill Global and Star Hill Real Estate Investment Trust which has a market capitalization of approximately 1,343 million. The main function of YTL e solution are development, ownership and operation of narrowcast digital media networks through InfraScreen Network PLC. YTL SV Carbon concentrating on carbon consulting, handling all aspects of the process including identification of potential projects, development of documentations such as the project design documents, approval, registration and seal of carbon credits originally and globally. It's important to mention awards that the company have received for the recent years. In 2011, the company have received a Corporate Platinum Award as well as was listed in top 50 Malaysian brands. In 2012, they remained in top 50 Malaysian brands and got the Singaporean Environmental Achievement Award. And in 2013, they have received award of strongest adherence to corporate governance and the best strategic corporate social responsibility. Analysis of YTL 2011 and 2012 financial ratios. Do note that we did our financial ratios based on the group earnings and not the company earnings. Liquidity ratios. The current ratio in 2011 was 1.32 while 2012 was 1.3. There is a slight decrease of 0.02. Quick ratio in 2011 was 1.26 while 2012 was 1.25, there is a slight decrease of 0.01. Activity ratios. Inventory turnover in 2011 was 17.3, while 2012 was 18.1. There is a positive increase of 0.8. Average age of inventory. In 2011, it was 21.1. In 2012, it was 20.2. There is a positive decrease of 0.9 days. Average collection period. In 2011, it was 46 days. In 2012, it was 43 days. There is a positive decrease of 3 days. Average payment period. In 2011, it was 35.6. 2012, it was 34.6. There is a decrease of 1 day. Total asset turnover. In 2011, it was 0 0.38, while 2012, or 0 0.39. There is a positive increase of 0 0.01. Debt ratios in 2011 was 74% while 2012 was 72%. There is a decrease of 2%. Times interest earn ratio in 2011 was 2.85 while 2012 was 3.05. There is an increase of 0 0.2. 
gross profit margin in 2011 was 0 0.22, while 2012 was 0 0.21. There is a decrease of 0 0.01. Operating profit margin in 2011 was 0 0.16, while 2012 was 0 0.15. There is a decrease of 0 0.01. Net profit margin in 2011 was 0 0.1, while 2012 was 0 0.097. There is a decrease of 0 0.003. Earnings per share in 2011 was 11.53 cents, while 2012 was 12.25 cents. There is an increase of 0 0.72 cents. Return on total assets in 2011 was 0 0.38 and the same in 2012 which was 0 0.038. Return on common equity in 2011 was 17.7 while 2012 was 16.2. There is a decrease of 1.5%. Price earnings ratio in 2011 was 7.3, while 2012 was 10.16. There is an increase of 2.86 ringgit Malaysia. Market book ratio in 2011 was 1.275, while 2012 was 1.645. There is an increase of 0 0.37 cents. From 2011 to 2012, the average collection period decreased from 46 days into 43 days because of the different reasons. The first, different markets such as construction, cement, hotels and hospitality with communication and other segments as well. In communication, YTL Corporation launched Yes 4G Network and its Android Power smartphone. In water and sewage segment, Wessex Water Regulated Assets increased by 3.3% which increased the revenue for operation. In terms of the infrastructure, YTL is in charge of the design, construction and commissioning for KLA2. The low cost of developing career terminals play the key role for improvement for the sales of next year. The next is the policies for collection in hand. YTL has performed credit review on all the customers with established credit limits and supported by collateral in the forms of the guarantees. Another increase is the price earning ratio which shows the increase from 7.3 to 10.16 with different reason. The company undertook a voluntary share exchange offer to get a larger stake in April 2012, showing the confidence of investors to invest. The next is the low inflation rate which was below 2% in 2012 due to the central banks kept the interest rate high for more than 9 months, reduced the need of the monetary change leading to the high expected future growth in earnings such as Malaysia's GDP growth is expected. Another change is increasing in times interest earn ratio from 2.85 to 3.05. Increase in gross profit improved the revenue profit before tax, net profit due to the better performance as well as the property development division. The other reason is showing that the company has been more able to cover the interest of the debt and it has financed. At last but not least, having the great returns by investing and in its earnings into other projects and borrowing at least a lower cost of capital than what it is currently paying to meet its debt obligation. Investment in the YTL Group Whether to invest or not to invest 1 million ringgit in the group Based on our analysis, investing in the group is recommended and would be a successful investment as the future of this group has been seen successful due to investment analysis on the group. The comparison of annual reports and activities in the year 2011 and 2012 has shown more significant positive changes than negative changes, concluding an overall positive financial health for YTL Group. There is a slight negative changes in some of the ratios such as return on common equity ratio which decreased by 1.5% and slight drop in net profit margin ratio by 1% in 2012 compared to 2011. However, there are more significant positive changes such as earning per share ratio increased from 11.53 in 2011 to 12.25 in 2012, which shows the ability of the group to generate more sales and profit has increased in 2012 for common stockholders against their capital investors.
Average collection period ratio decreased from 46 days in 2011 to 43 days in 2012. This shows that the group receives cash payment faster and debtor's financial status of the group has improved greatly compared to the last year. Debt to asset ratio decreased from 74% in 2011 to 72% in 2012 shows that more assets were paid without debt in 2012. Price to earning ratio increased from 7.3 in 2011 to 10.13 in 2012. It shows that attractiveness of the investment in this group has been increased. On the other hand, from comparing the earning per share of YTL Group to Berjaya Corporation by heart, the closest competitor of YTL Group earning per share is double the amount of Berjaya earning per share. In conclusion, positive changes are more significant than negative changes in 2012. Compared to the closest competitor, YTL Group has a better situation in 2012. Thus, investing in YTL Group is recommended and will be successful.